Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Curtis. I'm one of the paleontologists here at Fossil Crates. And today I'm here to talk about one of my all-time favorite predatory dinosaurs, the gigantic Torvosaurus tanneri. Tanner's savage, cruel, or wild lizard, according to the authors Peter Galton and Jim Jensen from their 1979 paper that described it. So let's get right to it. This is the hand claw of Torvosaurus. Now, Torvosaurus is a megalosaur. It's on the primitive side of theropod dinosaurs, and this one lived in the late Jurassic. It was originally found in Colorado, and it was quickly became one of the largest Jurassic theropods. This animal with this huge claw, this claw is here to here, tip to tubercle, is over eight inches long, and around a curve is over 10 inches long. But it's thick and massive. The equivalent Allosaurus claw is nearly as large, but it's very attenuated, very, very sharp at the tip. This is sharp and massively blunt. Really has a very different feel to it than other theropod claws. We also have its tooth. Now this is a rooted tooth. Uh, this whole tooth, it's almost eight inches long. It goes into the mouth and it's broken up here, so it would have gone a little bit deeper. This amount, almost five inches, four and a half inches of it, is the root. The rest of it is the actual tooth itself. So this tooth would have looked like this. Still quite the blade. Serrated on both ends. Uh, the Torvosaurus tooth is much, much bigger than an Allosaurus tooth. Much more robust and massive. Again, that megalosaurid uh, phylogeny, coming back to it, its relatives being these big, primitive, powerful meat eaters. Uh, Torvosaurus itself was somewhere in the range of 30 plus feet long. Uh, weights estimates from three to five tons. Difficult to estimate weight. Um, and some folks have put Torvosaurus as almost 40 feet long. Uh, a lot of discrepancies there. It depends on what methodology you use to determine its length. But regardless of how long and heavy those numbers are, when we compare it to the other animals in Europe, it is by far the largest Jurassic predator of Europe. Uh, Torvosaurus gurnii was named fairly recently, and it makes Torvosaurus the largest Jurassic predator in Europe. Though in the U.S. it still vies for that title, there is unquestioned at this point in time, Torvosaurus was the top theropod across the pond. We're in the United States. So when we look at Torvosaurus, the skull has changed through time. It was modeled on that of an Allosaurus. So they made it a super or mega Allosaurus, an Allosaurus on steroids. After all, its claws had a similar shape to Allosaurus, as did its teeth, just at a much more robust scale. Enter Elvis. Not the blue suede shoes, Elvis, though I think he would have looked cool in blue suede shoes, but Elvis the Torvosaurus that was found a few years back and is now on display uh, in the Cincinnati Museum of Natural History. The Torvosaurus itself, uh, the skull, they found additional components and the excavators went down and restudied the Torvosaurus material from Brigham Young University where the holotype material is kept. And remember the holotype is the name bearing bone. That's the specimen that everyone comes back to compare to see if they found a Torvosaurus or not. And in this particular scenario, the Torvosaurus skull material revealed a longer, lower skull than the big, massive skull that had originally been thought to be. Still a large skull, but now more in that spinosaurid, long, narrow skull, which shouldn't be a big surprise because there is this gradationality of theropod skulls in the certain lineage through time. So pretty neat, reminiscent of me, of uh, the Giganotosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus. Again, that lower skull as opposed to the raw power of T-Rex. However, what's fascinating is uh, some jaw bite studies suggest that Torvosaurus had one of the most powerful bites. So even with this longer lower skull, uh, it still quite packed quite the chompy wallop. Uh, the teeth don't have the Tyrannosaurus D shape, that big fat killer banana look. So it probably wasn't actively chasing dinosaurs that were heavily armored. And if you think about what Torvosaurus would have eaten, that makes sense. Torvosaurus would have chased Camptosaurus. Uh, it would have had lots and lots of sauropods to choose from, which were not armored. Thick flesh, yes, but not bony armor. Uh, the Stegosaurus and its close kin, like Hesperosaurus, would have been the armored dinosaurs of the day that it would have actively predated upon. And those animals have the plates on the back. Uh, but not bony armor inside. 
Now, that being said, we know there were ankylosaurids in the Jurassic. I've touched the bone from the dry mesa dinosaur quarry, from the very quarry that Torvosaurus itself came from. And clearly there were some kind of armored animals, but it, they are extremely rare, at least in the preservational record, which suggests that either they were rare in general or they lived in a different environment. Uh, but that's a story for another day. We're here to talk about our friend Torvosaurus. So Torvosaurus tanneri, uh, it was an absolutely impressive specimen. It has been found in numerous quarries across the Western United States. Not very common in any particular area, uh, but it does have recognizable vertebrae. Some of its appendicular elements, the non-vertebral portion of the skeleton, are also recognizable, which allows us to find it in various places. So that's really cool to see that here's a big predator and it was found in the same quarry as Supersaurus, the longest dinosaur ever discovered. And what's pretty cool there, Supersaurus is also known from additional quarries. So way back in the 70s when Jim Jensen popped open the Dry Mesa Dinosaur Quarry and started excavating, little did anyone know that here we're going on 50 years later and the animals that he found, the new animals, are being found throughout the Western United States and, in the case of Torvosaurus, over in Portugal as well. Thank you all kindly for uh, listening to my conversation about Torvosaurus. I really like this animal and its claw and tooth are just massive. You can buy these at fossilcrace.com. We're the only people that have them. We are offering them as individual purchase as well as part of a crate. Um, you can get that fantastic fossil crate unboxing experience if you go the crate route. But if you already have crates and you just want to add this to your collection, well, you can pick one or the other or get them both. Thank you kindly. Adios.